I first saw this set a few years ago in the bar at TF Nation and I was immediately like, give that to me, that's a thing that I need to have. And quite rudely, they kept it to themselves, so I had to get my own on eBay like a common rube, like one of you might. Unlike a standard Transformers combiner team with five members, these critters come in a pack of GoBots monster renegades. Now let's have a look at them individually, and then in their combined mode of monstrous, or puzzle fiend, or whatever you want to call them, it'll never live up to the original machine robo name of Devil Satan 6, perhaps the most metal name of any toy of all time. First up is Fright Face, who makes up the head and the upper torso. There's something very ominous about that blank oval face, but I do love the techno-organic feel that runs through the full set. His wee crab hands are very cute, enough to forgive the extremely limited articulation. Turning into a gruesome alien jet, Frightface exemplifies the odd, abstract nature of the monster renegades. I do like it, despite moaning about similar alt modes in other videos, you know, I'm not above being a huge hypocrite. Fangs is up next, similarly lacking in articulation, but a lovely shade of diarrhea brown. I do love the sculpted organic detail on this one, and brown, orange and lime isn't a colour scheme you see often. He transforms into a flying machine of some sort, I don't know. Fangs is probably the most unassuming of the group. You know, where are his fangs? Are these the fangs? Are those the fangs? Why would a combiner's leg have fangs? Gorejaw comes closer than anyone to rivaling Devil Satan 6 for the most metal name of all time. Now we're showing some personality. Look how happy he is. I, you know, it's fair enough, isn't it? He's one of the more involved transformations, and the die-cast parts that all the monsters have are the most apparent here. I do like the alt mode, it feels in line with the robot design, and I do love that shade of blue as well. It's more successful than Fangs, but they're very similar, Gorejaw just has so much more personality. Southclaw becomes one of the combiner arms, but his robot mode is probably the best so far. I can't get enough of that weird face and those very kissable lips. He's also the floppiest of the crew, but that's forgivable after 35 years. The alt mode for Southclaw is it's quite dragon-like. The closest to looking like anything at all. You know, imagine this swooping down on you. Weirdwing makes up the other arm of the combined mode. He's probably the funniest of the group. You know, that face is about as wacky as Gorejaw, but those arms just seal the deal. They're always in this position, so he always looks like he's walking into a house party going, Hey! Alt mode's very similar to Southclaw, very animalistic. You know, I do like those animal head sculpts. Last up is Heart Attack, who makes up the lower torso and is easily the most adorable of the group. Just look at the state of him, this evil alien robot with a love heart face. His arms are in a perpetual state of celebration, and, and you would be, wouldn't you? The way that he transforms means that he has more junk in the trunk than the rest of the group too. His alt mode's got its own wings and a fold-out cockpit, which is pretty cool. I do like how you can press the head down. It's very, very cute. As are these tiny exhausts at the back. It's a little weirdo. Okay, so we've got the whole group here. Let's get them transformed into the combined mode of Monstrous. And isn't that wonderful? Look at that head sculpt. I absolutely love it. The overall look is exactly what I'm into. The proportions are great. The legs look like he's wearing flares. What is there to not like? Age has caught up with the set, so it's fairly shaky, and a lot of the chrome's worn off the claws, but I, I do actually quite like that, it's like the organic design bleeds through and we're seeing some bone sticking out beneath the metal. Like most combiners of the period, Monstrous is more for display than play, but what a display! The colours work so well together, I often just look at them on the shelf and smile. The simplicity of the forms, the transformation, it's just a great, surprisingly heavy toy. So yeah, that's Monstrous, a huge, weird, one-of-a-kind bad bastard. If you have any of these toys, or if you've ever thought about taking me for a steak dinner, leave a comment down below, otherwise just stop wasting my time.